All right, I kind of want to jump right into this one. Really fascinating story. It kind of it kind of correlates with so many different aspects and it kind of shows you some of the detriments of having a abusing a large audience. Um, you know, it's it's kind of crazy to see that. Look, you know, obviously, look, we've all seen Spider-Man comes great power, comes great responsibility. Well, in this case, comes great size audience, comes the temptation to want to manipulate them and 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 cash the fuck out I, i'm already i'm already trying to think of like what the apology video is going to look like for this because you know that you know one's coming man you know there's an apology video coming and it's, it's going to go something like this they all start like this they all start like this Excessive exhale, excessive sigh, staring blankly into the camera. What I did was wrong. Something like that. I, I don't know. I, you know, YouTube apology, ad lib style. Here, we've all seen them. It's fucking common at this point. I mean, dude, this kind of goes back to like some a couple YouTubers advertising a gambling website, like for kid, like to kids, but you know they would. They wouldn't, uh, they wouldn't like give the info to their audience that they were being paid to promote this. So when they were on the website, like, oh my God, I won. Like, like showing that they won, like, you know, trying to allude to the fact that like you could actually win on this shit. I mean, it was just the most, it's the most me misleading shit that's going on. Let me, let me jump right into it. So as you've probably already heard via Twitter or whatever other sources, Phase K is out. And by that, I mean, he's out of phase. He's been kicked. I know a couple other ones have been suspended. I think Jarvis is one of them. Uh, I don't really know some of the names, to be quite frank. I just know that Jarvis has definitely been suspended. K is completely out. And this is drastic. This is some serious shit that's going on here. You know, obviously people are kind of alluding to the fact that K could actually go to prison for this. I'm having a hard time seeing that actually coming to fruition um, because, you know, this... And look, I don't know too much about this. And I'm talking about like crypto as opposed to actual financial assets, like like a stock. And, and let me just get this out of the way because I'm so tired of seeing this shit. Because uh, I, I went to school for finance, so I, I, I hate seeing this shit. But you know, crypto is not a stock. We all, we, most of us know this shit, okay? When people call Doge a stock, I mean, just immediately run the other way because they, they don't know what they're talking about. So when people, when people think that Kay's gonna go to prison for this, you know, because of kind of a pump and dump scheme, I find that unlikely. I find it, you know, look, this isn't millions of dollars uh, in an involvement here where, where, you know, tons of people just lost their homes. Uh, I mean, this is, look, this is a good size audience, really good size audience. A lot of people that, that, you know, could have bought into this, lost a couple hundred, maybe a couple thousand dollars. If you, if you kind of just like YOLO'd your bar mitzvah money into this shit, which look, if you did that, man, you, there's at some point, you're gonna have to take responsibility for this shit because look at the end of the day, man. If you're if you're taking drastic financial decisions off of you know influencers and I, you know I'm I'm talking like gaming influencers, fitness influencers, pretty girls on Instagram. I mean, if you're if you're making drastic financial decisions based around their tweets and maybe some of their you know advice on various platforms, maybe you deserve it. Okay, look, he maybe you deserve it. Clearly, there's a whole other ethical portion to this, and, and I kind of want to discuss that. So, you know, to kind of give a brief synopsis of what's going on, because I've kind of been rambling already so much. Let me let me just give a brief synopsis of what's going on right now. So, Phase K, you know, and a couple other influencers, Rice Gum, Summer Ray, Jarvis, I mean, look, a bunch of them got involved with this crypto project of an altcoin called Save the Kids. Now, look, a, a lot of these coins now, they, they have these big stories. They have these, you know, these names that try to make them sound like they could be either have good potential or that they're safe by even including the word safe in it. Um, so, so you know, with this one, save the kids. Look, who the, who the fuck doesn't want to save the kids? I mean, whatever they were talking about, you know, from saving them, like, are the kids in danger? Like, what are we talking about? Like, what do you mean save the kids? Save what kids? Save who kids? Um, so, you know, obviously the project itself, you know, it sounded good on face value. Um, and, what, you know, look, what it came down to was, you know, the, these influencers were, you know, kind of advertising this project in, to get into it. And, and from what I from what I've seen is part of the project was looking to donate a portion of the money to save the kids. And again, look, I, I have not looked into that shit one one second. So I really don't know what the whole project's mission was. 
But what we do know is that these influencers were obviously paid a certain amount of these save the kids coins, um, you know, in, in a way that they would then promote the coins. I mean, it was an endorsement. So ultimately what happens with this shit is, you know, when, when any, when any influencer and I, I'm going to refer to the one with like soldier boy when <laughs> soldier boy made a tweet he got paid a certain amount in these coins and was able to like cash out uh as soon as the the crypto project launched uh and he, he accidentally included in the tweet how much he might be getting for this deleted that tweet and then put up the other put up the tweet without the information so dude these people don't give a fuck okay they don't care at all and it's look, it's a shame, and, and I, you know, I hate to see people feeding out off of, uh, you know, other kids' FOMOs who might have missed some of the boat in terms of Bitcoin and Ethereum, and they hear, they, you know, just oh, they're always hearing hype, and the media always hyping up crypto, so they kind of miss the boat. They're, you know, they're looking to put their money somewhere, you know, some of that bar mitzvah money somewhere. Uh, you know, obviously in this case, it was save the kids. So what happens is, K dumped all of his coins like all his Save the Kids coins as soon as the project launched. And if you look at the chart of Save the Kids, shit starts like up here, boop, goes right down. And from what we know from a channel called CoffeeZilla, who did some incredible, incredible investigative work on this on this whole project, spoke to one of the developers, I believe, of Save the Kids. I mean, he confirmed a lot of different information for us, even went so far as to look at the wallet that Phase K had and some of the other Phase members had in regards to you know dumping these coins right off the rip as soon as the project launched and you could see that and, and from what he confirmed in the video with one of the developers was that k might have gotten about 30k for this now look listen that's that's a great chunk of change all right especially for not having to do pretty much any work i mean j just so far as to send out a tweet to pretty much guarantee yourself 30k and like i don't know a week or two from now when the project actually launches there's a bug in my room. Uh, so that's, look, that's a fair amount of change for anyone's budget, you know, like, especially these guys who who do so well on YouTube. And that's kind of my next point. K averages like, like 30 to 40 million views a month, at least over the last like 18 months. He's pushing, he's pushing, you know, all right, that's a drastic variance. I mean, if, if even if we pick the middle number, say he's getting like, I don't know, 75K, 70k 60 dude i mean this guy's killing it already not to mention whatever endorsements and 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 uh salary he has with phase like it's not like this guy's going broke and is desperate for the cash uh you know 100 you know 1.7 million in, in yearly earnings obviously this is purely an estimate and we you know we don't know the exact number but i mean come on man middle of the road here say he say he's making you know 750k a year i mean dude what, what are we doing what are we doing scamming your audience and, and trying to buy this shit coin. So, look, circling back here, the, the whole the whole issue with Phase K is that this is not the first time he's done it. He put he put out an apology tweet. I want you all to know that I had no ill intent promoting any crypto altcoins. I honestly and naively thought we all had a chance to win, which just isn't the case. I didn't vet any of this with my team at Phase, and I now know I should have. You know, the, the problem with this is that he had done this a multitude of times. You know, obviously some of these tweets had been deleted. People kind of dug them up, promoting shit like Tits Coin, Safe Galaxy Token, Moon Portal, a coin called Rich. I mean, dude, it, it's very evident that he's trying to cash out on some of this shit and and trying to really profit off of his his large audience and trying to pump this shit up so that he can kind of get the fuck out. And and look, th this has been proven, like I said, with CoffeeZilla. They went into his wallet, and as soon as the project of Save the Kids dropped he sold out of everything as opposed to and i as opposed to jarvis and, and some of the other phase members who maybe sold out of like you know 30 40 percent of their coins and it's evident that nobody thought this was going to be a long-term project and that you know people were going to actually see this as like a viable asset of any kind and, and it's it's so unfortunate that those that did bought into it because of his advice you know i i feel horrible that they might have you know lost some money in this and that 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 is an absolute shame, and that's where he's going to get the most backlash for sure. You know, the the issue with some of this is maybe he's claiming a little bit of victim mode here. He, you know, another one of his tweets. While I'm very passionate about the crypto space, it's extremely complicated, and I still have a lot to learn. And I caution everyone to look closely before investing. Th this is a, a statement you got to make beforehand, bro. Like th this has to be 
the constant theme. This has to be the theme. You have to be so clear about this. I mean, look, again, it's a two-way street. Those that are making, again, drastic financial decisions, investing in these speculative coins uh, with, with no information available, you know, purely on the sole basis of somebody like Phase K advising that you should do this. I mean, that's a red flag in and of itself. You know, anytime I saw something like this shit, I immediately just brushed past it. I don't know if it's because I'm 25 at this point, I can kind of see bullshit and smell it really quickly. Those that were a little bit younger, a little bit more, a little bit more in the FOMO stage of wanting to get involved in some of the crypto space, you know, and they, and they, they like and respect someone like Phase K, Make, making those decisions right off the rip and, and unfortunately getting burned, it's it's how you learn. Again, it's a shame if, if that it was a drastic amount of money, highly doubt that it really was. It just sucks. And, and look, and the, the next part of his tweet, I'm really struggling with the fact that I let you all down. And more importantly, anyone whose trust I've lost, I mean, that's 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 it, man. And that's that's where it came down to FaZe probably having to let him go. You know, it, it makes the brand look like they can't be trusted. The fact that there was a multitude of super popular members that were involved in, in this shit. Look, this is extremely similar, extremely similar to Jordan Belfort and the Wolf of Wall Street, man. And just to kind of, you know, give a summarization of what went on there. I, look, I know people kind of idolize him and look in the movie's great. I fucking love that shit. Like, you know, Jordan Belfort now, he's a really cool guy. Like he, he, he seems awesome. But what, what was going on then at the time, and, and, and there's two parts of the story, um, but the, the main theme of his story was that he was in these penny stocks, these these low bullshit companies, Aerotine. Aerotine Energy. Uh, Aerotine. Aerotine, yeah. Aero, Aerotine. Aerotine, yeah. Aerotine, dude. Low bullshit companies and and his staff and his and his employees were their job was to kind of you know create this predatory sales tactic to try to pressure people give them kind of this crazy story that they're going to make all this money and it you know it was misleading it was it was largely exaggerated statements that got people to buy in pump the volume up so all the shares that they jordan belfort had held on to and owned already you know he sold out at the first pop you know making a lot of money and that's you know that's the definition of a pump and dump which is in fact illegal. Um, and and that's why people kind of think that K is gonna, you know, face jail time. Again, I, I highly doubt that shit. I, I don't see that being the case. Wh whether or not he gets, you know, fined by the SECs, SECs is the Security and Exchange Commission. They're responsible for, you know, investig investigatory practices with financial products. I don't think that the government's gonna waste, you know, resources on project that may entail like under a million dollars, if even half a million dollars, it just doesn't seem likely. But again, this is where FaZe clan itself and, and some of the, you know, some of the greater staff in the, in the hierarchical structure came together and would probably likely saying, you know, look, we got to make a decision here. There's a lot of beef on the internet right now thinking that our brand, you know, our company is is misleading, is uh, disingenuous to some of, some of the fans, and you know they can't have that man. They are they are on top. They are number one. It's very interesting to see. I'm curious how this will transpire over time. Um, and, and just and just to confirm, it's Jarvis, Nikan, Tico, uh, and, and Phase Clan putting out their statement that they had absolutely no involvement with you know their members' activity with with this, which you know may or may not be the case. I, I truthfully don't even know that far. But it's, you know, it's super interesting to see. Um, and, it, and I'm curious where it goes from there. Guys, thank you so much for watching the video today. I really appreciate you coming out. Super interesting story today. I want, I want, to, leave, I want to leave you guys with some advi financial advice. It's never a good idea to invest in something just because someone famous says it's a good investment. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Absolutely feel, feel free to let me know how you feel in the comments down below. I'm curious, this, this very well could be a part two to this, maybe even part three. Uh, th uh, this is slowly gonna continue to unfold as time progresses. New information is gonna come out. Who knows how how shocking it's gonna be? But I'm, I'm curious to follow along. So let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys have a good one. Peace.